skin is sensitive to the effects of radiation, and a radiation skin reaction is one of the most common side effects. Even though everyone's skin tone is a little different, the effect of radiation is fairly consistent and pretty predictable, but there's really not much of a change in the first week. For some treatments, by the third week, the skin begins to get a little bit pink or a little bit darker. The last week of treatment, and for a week or so after its peak, the radiation skin reaction can appear quite red. By two to four weeks after finishing treatment, the redness begins to fade and turn into a suntan or a darker appearance. This darkened skin reaction fades away at its own pace, and everybody's different. Sometimes it takes one to two months, sometimes it can be much longer, and sometimes the darkened skin reaction is permanent. The arc of the reaction is somewhat predictable with no reaction in the first week, the beginnings in the third week, a peak towards the end, and a resolution two to four weeks later. Side effects of radiation on the skin include reddened skin, which is called erythema, darkened skin, which is called hyperpigmentation, dry or flaky skin, sunburn sensation, or blistering or peeling. Radiation skin care tips include gently scrubbing in the shower with a mild unscented soap. It's a good idea to check with your care team before starting any other products like creams, oils, or powders. Sun protection is key, especially in the first 6 to 12 months, because a bad sunburn can lock in the effects of radiation on the skin. It's better to wear loose-fitting clothing during radiation and avoid scratching, shaving, or smoking. Somewhat less common, but also possible late effects of radiation include fibrosis, which is a thickening of the skin. It can make the skin feel more tense and less stretchy than it used to be. Telangiectasias are what we call spider veins and are possible many years after radiation. An extremely uncommon but possible side effect of radiation, especially in folks who have a hard time healing, is necrosis or tissue death in the skin. Radiation therapy can also cause hair loss. Not everybody has hair loss, but it can only occur inside the field. So a patient who's getting radiation for prostate or breast cancer will not lose the hair on their head. Some chemotherapies can cause hair loss, and if patients are getting chemotherapy with radiation, they should check with their medical oncologist to see if the hair loss is a side effect. Radiation-related hair loss can be temporary. It can be partial or complete. Typically, hair loss starts two to three weeks into treatment. While hair loss is sometimes permanent, usually hair begins to regrow two to six months after completing treatment. This is not medical advice. Talk to your doctor before making any medical decisions.